Okay, so as Morgan just said, we are not convinced that the movie we are about to watch is in fact real, because it is the remake of Jacob's Ladder. What? <laughs> what, I mean, girl? I mean, like, I'm looking at it. Like, we are looking at the menu. For those of you who don't know, Jacob's Ladder is an old horror movie starring Tim Robbins. And they remade it last year, in the year of our Lord 2019. And I found this in a used bookstore, Morgan and I frequent. And it was three ninety nine for a movie that was released less than four months ago. <laughs> and I was just like, fuck it. We need to watch this. We need to do a commentary for it. And we're probably going to talk about it on our podcast, which we will film after this. But right now... <sighs> let's fucking do this shit. And I know nothing about it beyond the fact that it's the Jacob's Ladder remake. That's it. That's that's it. Damn, I don't even know that. Maybe it's just called Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> All right, we have just pressed play. Here's the what is it? Vertical Entertainment. Never, never seen this logo in in my life. Not even once. <laughs> Not even once. Uh, might have seen this logo. No, I haven't. L D Entertainment. Lil Dicky. <laughs> <laughs> Five people had found that funny. I'm glad you're one of them. <laughs> oh, God, he sucks. He's so bad. Not even funny bad. No. Like, he's trying to be, I think. Like, Eminem's funny bad. Oh, is this not a logo? Is this a shot? I think this is a shot. Oh. Lens flares. This is the beginning of Get Out. This. Is that what we're doing it's, here? Uh, no, nah, they changed the shot. It's not as good as Jordan. What the fuck? Is that an IED? What was that? Was that stutter the editing, or was that like the DVD? Oh my god, this is edited so poorly. This this, this just has no Zayon scene. It's just like bam. We're like a minute in. <laughs> this is war flashbacks. Okay, wow. Holy shit. Oh, what the? F Did he just drink like the Felix Felicis from <laughs> Harry Potter? He looks fellatio. Because this movie sucks. Big. <laughs> I'm funny. I make comedy videos on the internet. <laughs> hey, I initiated it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No. Oh, God. You know what this just already makes me think of? Hmm. <laughs> makes me think of Silent Hill Revelations. All right, let's be this honest. is this is already edited worse. <laughs> granted. Yeah, yeah. Let's still let's give it the benefit. Of the okay, benefit. yeah, let's that's true. Can you throw the subtitles on? Oh God, I it's hope not, it's not like it matters. No. <laughs> Title card. That's uh. Oh, all right. <sighs> Pausing briefly. All right, there you go. Back on. Yay. Is that Liv Biscuit? I really hope so. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> I mean, it's, it's the Iraq War, so it might be. It was new metal. It was absolutely 100% new metal. Oh, I'm so happy. This is a film. I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> oh, what the hell is this? Why did it... Do they, like... The post-production is so awful. <laughs> this looks like a fucking commercial. 
Rachel. She's just like, hi, honey. Bam, I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh. I just, I love how we, we've had two scenes and just nothing is paced well. <laughs> like, it's just like rapid fire. I feel like these are machine gun bullets aimed straight at my head. That's called a scalper. Yep. Is it really just called a spreader? Probably. I mean, I don't know what else you call it. It does the spread. The, 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 like, these scenes just, like, could have... They, they're just thrown here. Nothing is leading into the other scene. Like, little women? Nah. Fuck that shit. Uh, where was... Is something... You know. Are you... What? Sir. <laughs> well, this is horribly contrived. Oh, God, really? Oh, I already have a fucking headache. <laughs> I like that this person has likely died, and his like, and she's just like, this right person might die, and he's just like, he's just totally hapless. You're a surgeon. You know what this reminds me of the most? Oh God, what? Ang Lee's Hulk. <laughs> it's got the same flow of scenes where you're just like, what in the hell? It also aesthetically kind of does look like it in a weird way. I don't know what this baby got paid. Ang Lee's Hulk's better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the effects are pretty good in that movie. Is this whole movie just going to be people asking this dude, are you okay? Him being like... <sighs> the wife looks like fucking Tian Tamara Maori over here. It, it really would sad me if I learned that, that that was one of them. Because, wow, what a decline. I have no idea who either of those people are. Sister, sister, bitch. Yeah, they didn't clear a thing up. Damn, man. Gotta brush up on your early 2000s sitcoms. There we go. Yeah. I, too, ought just have an hourglass like that in the living room. The only, the only thing I recognize the names from was that annoying-ass Doja Cat song. <laughs> Which Doja Cat song? I think it's called Tia Tamara. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually like quite a few of her songs. Oh, are we just... All right. Is this how this works? I don't think this is how this works. No, it's... Like, just no disco. Oh, really? This is what we needed this for? The dramatic camera tilt? Made me nauseous. They really thought they did some. Fucking Lee Winnell over here. Ah, yes. <laughs> Supposed to give him PTSD. The baby's just there? Just hanging? No 
shit. I was in Iraq. I don't like how that was subtitled. He he he. You're having terrible PTSD. He he he. <laughs> it's hilarious. Zip me up. I don't care. Was that a Doja Cat song? That little thing you just did right there? <laughs> Said that shit to a beat. Ominous thunder rumbling. The last movie I watched before... Actually, I take it back. This is... I was going to say the movie I watched previous to this was The Lighthouse, so I'm used to that. But the movie I actually watched before this was The Craft. <laughs> the most dated film of all time. And remind me that uh, Ferruja Balk is fucking terrifying. this hospital oh shit it's just the subtitles <laughs> did he just say the sentence you go to war with the army you have you have gone to war with the army <laughs> that actor's he's doing cocaine you're not. What? What was... Is this dude sneaking in drugs? That's not a metaphor that you should apply <laughs> there. If you find any people with PTSD, I have bullets for them. What? <laughs> Fucking... That there mug had nothing there. in yeah, it. Nothing. Intense me is it intense? <laughs> Those edible tits. <laughs> God, it's just the it's like just a collage of things happening. Nice to look at sometimes. <laughs> this just has really bad color correction. Man, you know, Jacob's Ladder's not a perfect movie by any stretch of the imagination, but whatever weird shit happened in that movie, it was pretty great. Yeah. And it was always just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I think one of the generally most unnerving things in any horror movie is just when they're having that argument and she just starts yelling at him and there's that shot that is completely silent where her eyes are entirely black yeah. and it just holds on that for a moment. Like, I, I see that shit in my nightmares. The horror in this is just like, like, what, what is, why, what, I don't, who? I don't, I don't think there has been any horror I yet. think the movie thinks that it has been. Oh, Christ. This... This scene happens maybe an hour into the, the original film. No, it just walks away. Also, the fucking making... Jacob's brother's name, Isaac. Fucking, fucking really. Subtle. <laughs> For a movie called Jacob's Ladder, like, you, you, that wasn't enough. <laughs> ah, yes. The helm of all horror. Dog. Oh, that looks nice. Dwarf. He's not even emoting. <laughs> He's just like that as a dog. God, this man looks uncomfortable as hell. Yeah, me too, bud. <laughs> I think he's trying to lean out of the movie. Just like, yeah, why don't you tell me about it? <laughs> <laughs> I 
What? You know, for, like, this, this movie's really not, like, it's just like, oh, if you're a soldier who is in Iraq with PTSD, yeah, you're fine. It's just like, oh, if you see him again, you know, I'd like to talk with him. Okay. You, you, you mean a casual, what the fuck? Oh, so he's... So... Is... Were you fucking around with his wife? Oh, is this supposed... Okay. I, I, I guess I get it now. That must be nice for you. Also, I, I really like that this movie is just like... Oh, you, you know they're related because both characters are black, despite the fact that both black men do not look remotely like one another and in no universe could be brothers <laughs> different builds different like just no i don't buy it that is the building from stranger things sorry <laughs> stop saying my name who the fuck are you <laughs> Mona. Ah, but body language, acting, the art of acting. All right, fuck off, ninety nine cent Adam Scott. <laughs> I was gonna fucking say he was Adam Scott, and also like a little bit of Dan Stevens in the eyes. And behind him is like ninety nine cent Terry Russell. <laughs> I'd I'd give this movie a ten if it was replaced with that one shot of Terry Russell's eyes in Rise of Skywalker. The only visually appealing shot in that film. I think you would give the movie a, that it's in a 10. I cannot understand your logic. It's a sandwich with a bunch of bullshit. So is this. Uh, well, I said if the movie was nothing but that. Oh, implying. Well, oh, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, uh, yes, The Matrix 3. <laughs> But that's the first time you thought about that scene in a while. I'm the train man. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, it isn't. Why not, Joker? Oh God. The, the those, only the those only movies look the exact same. <laughs> like <visually. laughs> these, these movies. Oh my God, this actually does look phenomenally like Joker. That's the and the you know what the the, the general idea of it's a little bit too similar too. So let's just. Move past that. The only valid 2019 train scenes are the ones in Mr. Robot. That's that's it. <laughs> she she just goes to her mom's house for dinner and just leaves you high and dry. That's kind of shitty of her. That text also read like an email. Yeah. Um, that's disgusting. I want to get that looked at, sir. Catch a damn train. <laughs> Why is seeing that his reaction just be like, <sighs> oh great, a horror movie where this happens all the time, where it's just gross thing? Don't show my fucking head. <laughs> it's just like, Don't oh, show my fantasy. <laughs> Actually, the movie I watched, it was probably more comparable to this, was uh, uh, one of the terrible ones I watched for in my Halloween marathon, uh, The Darkness with Kevin Bacon. Oh, yeah. That's, th this yeah. reminds me of a lot of that. It's significantly less offensive to autistic people so far, so that's something this movie has going for it. Yeah. Where? Oh, no. It's John Travolta and the fanatic. Oh wow, it's gone! <laughs> this is only like an hour and 29 minutes. And like, ha like all of this could have been cut. <laughs> all of the horror is, is this a thing? Oh, it's not really there. It's, it's all of it. That just reminds me of the trailer for the intruder i feel like maybe you may have been in that 
I have to fucking look that up to see if that's true. Because if it is... It's definitely a movie he would be in. It, it very much is. Um, Intruder. Let's go back. Where the title is. Let's go back. Dude's <laughs> it was <laughs> what a year for Michael Ealy <laughs> I, think, I think every year's like this for him has he, has he made a good movie ever well the first movie that pops up on his page is Too Fast Too Furious so then I'm gonna take that as a hard no it was in 7 Pounds with Will Smith the Oscar baitiest Oscar film to ever Oscar bait. He wants to rob you. Oh dear. <laughs> Snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> he said ratatata. What? Call the police. What? Why'd you put him in a trunk? What are you doing? <laughs> also, why was that like shot with like a wide angle lens? Oh my god! This is this is like online, like on Twitter, when people are just like, you know how transphobes have one joke? Man, this movie only has one scene. <laughs> I don't trust a doctor with Himmel in their name, just on principle. <laughs> I doubt that. But can you? He just looks like Discount Ted Levine. Oh, bag of gross. Is he gonna jump in front of that train? Probably. his mustache so I can file my category under bear. <laughs> Before I was torn. <laughs> Didn't handle that. <laughs> oh, God. You know, ever since I became friends with Cole, I know a lot more about Grinder than any straight person should. Well, you know, fair enough. <laughs> This one goes out to you, Cole. Sorry. <laughs> okay, the black eye thing there just doesn't work. It's it, because it, 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 it because because it's this movie's terrible. <laughs> just realized I have to put this on my 2019 ranked list. Oops. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Spacey and House of Cards, that motherfucker. <laughs> it was garbage. Now, uh, 
a trauma, a trauma surgeon just sounds like a bad title. Just like, what are you? I'm a hurt doctor. Y yes, I think you're <laughs> making this up. I don't think they did. Do you want to check the camera footage? Do you guys not have CCTV? <laughs> I think you do. We're too busy making sure people play pay for train fare. Topical. Just forget it. Thanks for your time. You you saw a man die, Jacob. His blood is on he's, you. He's, he's just so unfazed. Now this also kind of looks like the girl with the dragon tattoo, but you know, if it was just like dog shit, if everything about it was bad. He was like, he looks like right now he's making the expression that James Hurley is always making <laughs> when peeps. <laughs> just. Uh, yeah. Like, kind of like he has to poop and you're, you can't <laughs> pay too much cheese. He's kind of blocked up. And he's just like, oh, I feel that pain in my, my intestines and it's just moving. It's just like, yeah, man, I feel it. He just jumps in front of the train, the movie ends 20 minutes into it. Oh, hey, a good shot accidentally. What? Wait, you're. Your instinct is to do this. I cannot imagine what watching this must be like if you had never seen the original. Oh my god. Like, the original kind of serves as sort of a map of, like, oh, this is what they're doing with this scene. And, like, th like this scene happens in the original, but, like, you kind of get why he... Seriously. You get why he's there? Blind as hell. It's the midnight meat train. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know why, but the building he just walked into made me think of that building in Snake Eater that's, like, right before you fight the fear. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. It's the warehouse. Yeah. Into Grazny Grade. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine if you had, like, Bits and pieces of Metal Gear Solid 3. Video, could you have made a Jacob's Ladder game? <laughs> what? What even? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, why? Why? What was that? Man, I follow... A.A. Dowd, who's one of the fucking A.V. Club guys, he gave this shit a four. Dude, what are you smoking? This shit sucks. Is that a four out of ten? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that's it's still too generous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother. It's just the silliest facial hair I've ever seen. That brother. brother. He's, 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 he's even got the head thing. He's doing a Hogan thing. Randy. <laughs> Macho man. And, you know, not to be too uppity about this, but the way it's portraying the homeless and the soldiers all as, like, these kind of gross, disfigured monsters, whereas we have our handsome lead protagonist who's absolutely fine but is suffering from the same trauma... It feels a bit tone deaf, is what I'm saying. Like, the original movie still humanized the people who were going crazy. I mean, it's tone deaf, but the bigger problem is that there it's... was just no thought put into it no, whatsoever. No, at all. Yeah, it's, it's tone deaf not as a result of uh, ill intent, but of laziness. Which is probably worse. Yeah. As opposed to. Alright, Dan. 
Uh, all right. Take him home. Go on home, folks. <laughs> Still can't get behind myself to, like, hate that movie. No. Yes, there's a lot of questionable bullshit in it. I will not deny that. Still can't do it. That's because it's just not worth it. No, really not. Plenty of worse films. Yep. Plenty of worse films that tackle those subjects. Oh, Christ. The scene geography, of, like, th these just could be any shots of them anywhere, and it'd be like, yes, they are running away. I have, the spatial relation is just... <laughs> now, now they're in a cab. Because they, they got in a cab. That guy was dead. <laughs> so uh, here's, here's this man. Here's some help getting up. Who is this bitch? <laughs> she is tiny. Small. Maybe these are just large. Get off me. Why are you hugging me? Get off me. I just want to go inside. Give me some soup. Oh, that's coffee. All right, yeah. All right Twin Peaks. <laughs> the calms. <laughs> this is deadly premonition. <laughs> Don't be so unkind to, to Mr. Uh, what the fuck is his weird ass name? Guy who makes those games? Yeah, the the one. Yeah. Like like literally, it, it could be the one. Yeah. Can't believe that's a podcast episode. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down on our list. We we we're we're making a list. If you have any recommendations for movies you want us to watch or talk about, by all means, leave them in the comments. Cause um, <laughs> I just opened up to this. <laughs> Is this it? This is gonna be really awkward if he is, but is this dude black? I he he it, it's questionable. Okay, I'm gonna look up who plays him. He 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 looks like he's mixed. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. It's just the way that was lit was... Yeah, like that picture of him on Letterboxd. Yeah, that's... It's very, uh... Wow, second movie he's known for is Lee Daniels' The Butler. That's how we know we're, uh... Really killing it here. Jesus, a character named Jacob and a character named Paul? What the fuck is going on? Is it my family? Bet the next character we meet's gonna be named Moses or some shit. Simba <laughs> <laughs> Dye and his wife Rachel. <laughs> this is Zephyriasis and I don't know, Beth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well liked by all died of natural causes. <laughs> God. Oh that oh That shouldn't be funny. <laughs> oh god, we've only been watching this for a half hour. <laughs> oh look at him. He's fucking acting like we are right now. Alexa Rick's uh, played bugging out by a tribe called Quest. <laughs> Rips. Oh, they about to do the bathtub. Great. I'm sure it's gonna be very emotionally affecting. I forget every time that his son in that movie is Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. Also, is the son aspect just not like in this? I don't guess That's so. Kind of, kind of the, the heart of the movie, really. Other than Jacob himself. I still don't even feel like we got. Ugh, really. To, I, I don't, 
mind the fact that they're seemingly like remixing several different elements of this. It's just that it's not a good movie. Like if the remake was taking this approach and it was a good movie, like just take this and like give it to like Jordan Peele and he'd fucking God, he would fucking kill that. He really would. He'd make Damn. it better than the original. He, yeah, he would. Should be a modern classic. Isn't he doing Candyman? I think he's producing. Producing Candyman. Kind of wish he was directing, because that shit would be fucking awesome. Just kill your brother again? Oh, damn. All that brother killing. Terrence Malick? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, man. but that's that's the Terrence Malick shot. Like, that yeah. is... That is in Days of Heaven, and also is in the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, but still, he was definitely evoking Malick. Oh, that, that, is, that is actually the shot from Days of Heaven, <laughs> I think that's the poster. Oh, God, this is plagiarism. What, what's happening? <laughs> Huh? Sure. Yes, that's that. Okay. Why does this feel like it was meant to open the movie? Yeah. Why does it look like Jason Momoa there? Or what? Almost dying. I don't teach you fish. There ain't no fish in that hole. Apparently, right. they didn't. I guess we didn't learn a fish thing. Tell me, what? It's a waste of good liquor. You must die. You actually had, like, an okay scene with these two talking about, like, reminiscing, and then it's just, and die. Oh, so good to see you. You must die. You must die. Yo, welcome back. You must die. Maybe you should, like, maybe you should, like, take him to a hospital. Yeah, you know. Therapist. Just get him some fucking Tylenol. Alka-Seltzer. Listerine. Potentially some Imodium. Valium. I would, I'd like a Valium right now. Ketamine. You know, Benzodiazepine, <laughs> Dexedrine, Percocet, Crack. I think you just found some. I found some of that crack syrup. <laughs> Yo, this maple syrup flavor crack. <laughs> like Isaac, this is just maple syrup. <laughs> it's like he just actually put this on pancakes, oh, dude. Oh, I got, I got, I paid five hundred dollars for that. Just leans in his jacket and it's just all swaddled and just takes out his fucking baby Yoda. <laughs> He's like, ah! Watched the uh, first five episodes of The Mandalorian. It was solid. Mm, it's fine. Yeah, Bryce Dallas Howard did an episode that was pretty good. Had that lady who was in the first Deadpool. Same character? Yeah, pretty much. And almost the same wardrobe. Yeah, but, uh, the, the hair was the same. You're... He's your patient. Can you... 
he like he, he did this therapist gives zero fucks. This is a therapist and the Joker. <laughs> just yeah. just borderline comedic in their uselessness. Yeah. I was about to say the words at least Joker and I was like, no, I'm not I'm not doing that. I'm not complimenting that movie on anything. I don't know, at least it's coherent. I'll say it for you. Nothing oh, else. Yeah, there you go. That's that's what I was going to, to get across. And it was you know, as service level as it was, it was certainly nicer to look at. Yeah. Even if it was just like, hey, the kids these days like neon. This looks like my big toe. But don't be so unkind to your toe. Your toe doesn't like actively anger me. <laughs> if it did, that would that'd be weird, but you know, give it a few days. <laughs> What? Oh God, it's gonna have the same fucking twist as the original movie, isn't it? Except it's gonna feel like complete horse shit. <sighs> That's the entire point of what this conversation is. It's basically just like, oh, I wonder if he's dying. God, every fucking building. I feel like I. This is like a the building that you go in for like when you're eight and your parents have to take you to like I don't know like file a tax return or something and you're in some building in downtown Lexington that you've never been to before and you're just there you got your Game Boy Advance and you're just like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here I just want to go home and eat some fucking cheese it's. Why don't you recognize him? He is so very obviously the same guy. Brother mustache included. Cameras was shot like the last Marvel Netflix show too expensive. Looks like the same set just shot like way worse. Oh my god, did he disappear? Wow. I didn't see it coming. Uh... <laughs> Man, this movie ain't got shit on the grudge. <laughs> This movie is no uh, Lin Shay cutting off her own fingers. <laughs> hey, that movie was dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Baba Duke. He's <laughs> like, I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna shake. I'll make your legs shake, you make you <laughs> go, go crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah, everybody, you like, I feel weird sticking up for it almost, but like. People who are given, like, the grudge, like, a half star, I'm like, man, have you seen a bad horror movie? That's, like, I, I wish every movie was, like, every bad movie was as good as that. <laughs> like, this is just, this is garbage. Grudge is a great film. <laughs> and I will thank you <laughs> to refer to it as such. We're talking about the new Nicholas Pesci uh, grudge. Yeah, we're not the best one. Movies. Yeah, the best one. Don't mistake our positive thoughts on it. It sucks, but it sucks in the best way. Did the color grading suddenly get warmer? You just had beer? Is that sanitary or legal? <laughs> Did 
this conversation is like, like what? Michael Ely's only direction in this film was to just go. <laughs> uh, could you squint a little? Yeah, squint a little and frown. But for, but like a really disingenuous frown, like the frown that he sees, like he's like looking at a homeless man, but like and making eye contact with them, but knows he can't give him money, so he's just like. Come on, really? We have to explain. Jacob's ladder is a, it's a, it's a fucking Bible verse. You, you fucking idiots. It's a metaphor. It's not a literal thing. You, you didn't. Is the twist just gonna be that he's been cracked out on all this stuff the whole time? <laughs> Tripping out on cough syrup. <laughs> I don't know why, but I want this movie to have the same ending as that fucking cyberbullying movie where it's like, you can't get a cap off! <laughs> like, it's the wife running in to get him. Jesus. <laughs> but it's 2019, so he would be listening to, like, Billy Eilish. <laughs> For the record, I like Billie Eilish. Don't yell at me. She totally killed that new Bond song. Still should have been FKA Kids. It absolutely should have been. Some people are just like, I don't think her style is going to suit Bond. I'm like, have you listened to a previous Bond song ever? Like any of them? Well, that was pointless. Fucking retired ladies. Female number two. What is the discount, Kristen Stewart? I'd be coming back. I mean, I I would too, honestly. She she's uh she's fine. Be sure to write a tool though. Don't know where that's been. <laughs> what? What? This is so immediate. It's like, oh no, it's a Dodge Ram. What? And the hood. It's just the hood. How did that work? Uh, uh, Barry, uh, edit, help. Help me. What? You're like a monster. Do you really care? He already saw you with the gun, even if you're like, not a monster. It's, at this point, you might as well... This has so many producers. This has four writers. Clearly. The editor has worked on four movies. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and one of them's a short film. cinematographer don't breathe <laughs> I'm sorry is this what is this just brothers oh my god oh that's so much better than what I predicted what fuck is going on <laughs> with this <laughs> <that I'll say? laughs> What the fuck is going on? <laughs> wow, I am really uh, at least don't breathe look nice. I'll <laughs> give it that when I can see things that had uh what's her name? Who's her name? Don't breathe. Maybe Jane Lee. Jane Lee. We could do with a, a Jane Levy. No, keep her away. <laughs> Too good. Keep anyone with talent away from this. Why? Why is she upset? 
What is she upset about? Uh, Why? Just tell her that he brought drugs into that house. Look, I don't know if it's just all of a sudden I'm just really distracted by her cleavage. <laughs> it's it's the only good thing in this entire movie, so I'm just like, what? There's a family here. The one that that you're in. That one. <laughs> the wife was in... Shame. <laughs> I bet that's where you recognize the cleavage. Ah... Uh. Ah, oh, shame. What a good film. It's been a minute since I've seen 12 Years a Slave, but I'd still probably say shame is my favorite. Because... Get out of the film, darling. This is the longest movie in the history of... There's a character in this... There's an actor in this movie whose name is Ninja. Ninja N. DeVoe. She was in Green Book! Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> Never thought I'd say you could go down from there. From the best, best picture winning film. Is this Shane now? Like this shot? No movie's good when you find it on Letterboxd, and absolutely no one has it on your watch list, and no one's seen it. It's just... Yeah. What? Why wouldn't he? What? He, he didn't know you were here. You were dead. He's he he welcomed you into his home. You're a drug addict and he has a baby. That was really nice of him. In fact, that was quite irresponsible of him. A bit. Oh my god, now it's a Michael Bay movie. Jesus Christ. Can we not? Are we gonna? Gotta shoot him. Get the body, shit bucket. Get the body, shit bucket. Get the body, shit This does feel distinctly 2004. Oh man, does it? That Limp Biscuit alike at the beginning, whatever the fuck, just felt very appropriate. I wouldn't have been surprised if this was like filmed in 2004. Yeah, I was gonna say that like, now. is this like, was this shelved like a long time ago? I wonder if like Wikipedia has some really good info about it. Cause <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Delphi. What? Where was he running? <laughs> what was he running after? Jacobs? No, not Jacob Sartorius. Google. G fuck you. I'm offended. Holmst. You don't know who that is. I do. Good. I do. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my fucking god. First sentence when I type in production. In 2013, the Midnight Meat Train screenwriter Jeff Bueller was reported to be writing a script for LB Entertainment's new version of Jacob's Ladder. <gasps> Everything is wrong with me. Why does this always happen? 
James Foley was attached as director in November 2013. By March 2016, Foley was no longer attached and replaced with David M. Rosenthal. Rewrites were provided by Sarah Thorpe when Bueller was unavailable to return. Bueller. Bueller. Bueller said that since the two, due to the two recent wars, the American cultural understanding of the experience of warfare and what it does to people mentally has become a completely different place than it was in 1990. He decided to not be necessarily going to the same conclusion and finding a new way to give an audience an experience that is similar in terms of er- impact and feeling but doesn't play to the same tune. It was a very tricky situation in the sense that we were trying to recreate something to honor the spirit uh, and concept of the original while telling a different story. We were promised a different twist ending in the original 1990 film as well, but since he was unattached, I don't really understand how that was. Uh, no, surprisingly, this was... Well, it was... Principal photography was in 2016, and it filmed in Atlanta. So, it took three years to release, which means, I'm guessing, the reason this movie has 20 producers is because they needed to find 20 producers who would distribute it. So, uh, yikes. That's a 5% for Rotten Tomatoes. Seems a little generous. Yeah, that implies, like, at least one or two people like this. Who? Who are these? Who are these people? That's just Michael Ealy in the reflection. Yep. What that HDA do? (laughs) do you mean why that's a very relevant question what's with your voice now that's okay I get it this is the best <laughs> alright oh good lord like is the implication here supposed to be like there's a conspiracy? Because I just don't give a fuck. You know what the original Jacob's Ladder needed? A fucking car chase. That's what it needed. Baby driver. <laughs> he was genuinely afraid there. <laughs> hey, the guy plays what Isaac. What the is hell was that? Terrible. <laughs> to what? So now I'm telling you the scary different? These dudes are clearly following you, so why would you go to the wife's hotel? Yeah, that's you're you're putting What? Why no cop? Why? Why are why are you agreeing with him? That is that is terrible. You are, you are bad. The cops? Why are the fucking cops? You need to consider that your husband's fucking crazy and call the fucking police. And even if there is a conspiracy, they'll be calling the cops sending his ass away. Freaking Looney Tunes. <laughs> she got maggots in her face. She's still fine, though. <laughs> that 
that ex- the entire just. <sighs> that what? is. Why is the dead drug addict the sane one all of a sudden? <laughs> the entire plot of this movie is just the dead speak. No, it's a spooky mirror. Oh god, please, please turn into brothers. That's what she told us. He he put his hand on her shoulder. People can do that. What good god. What? What what? God, the baby's named Gabriel. You're fucking kidding me. He's like the angel. Because the children will save him. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Turn me or the baby. Yes. <laughs> Just talking. <laughs> Look at him. I'm not even talking to you and the baby. I was talking to you in the movie. In fact, I wasn't even—I wasn't even talking to you so much as I was talking to you, channeling the movie. <laughs> so, in essence, I was just telling the movie to shut the fuck up. <sighs> what? <laughs> it's just, there's just nothing in this room. Oh, careful! You might show an emotion. <laughs> God, is this gonna be a fucking soldier again? Yeah, this, is, this is gonna be his dad. Oh, because it's the Hulk. Look at me, fucking Chris Christopherson. <laughs> oh wait, that was Nick. That's Nolte. Nick. Nolte. Same difference. It looked like Chris Christopherson. Yeah, it did. Movie. Remember that movie where he sits in the chair and he's like, Bawr! and he just <laughs> does that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we just mop his blood. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, never mind. Maybe this movie does have rights. <laughs> we gotta do the Ang Lee Hulk on here too. <laughs> I'm I'm good. <laughs> you know what? <sighs> My limit on that movie is like once every ten years, and I met that. All right, you heard you heard it first, guys, in 2030. <laughs> We're gonna watch Ang Lee's Hulk. Look forward to it. Uh, it'd probably be more like 2026. <laughs> so. I just remember when you sent me like a screenshot of that on IMDb. Like, you were just like, So have you seen Ang Lee's Hulk? I was just like, It's been a hot minute since I have. I watched it on TV a long time ago and I just remember it being real bad. And I was a kid, so, you know, whatever. And you were like, Well. You just sent me one out of ten. And then it's like your least favorites list, and it was like number two right behind the last airbender, and I was just like, oh. Okay. Wow. Dick. Why does this man always look like he wants to kill his brother? Who are you? Now for the unsettling music. <laughs> the unsettling white man. Except, that's a lie, because I'm taller. He's always fucked up to me. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm funny. Oh, now it is brothers. <laughs> wow, he's somehow more of a dick than my hypothetical impression of him being a dick. <laughs> wow. Beat the shit out of him, do it. <laughs> oh, your first 
Oh, that punch was... Oh, that was bad. That didn't even... Look at the truck. <laughs> <laughs> he just teabagged him. <laughs> just like... Ugh. Wait, why is it... Why is it turning green? Hello, young man. Do you young mean? man. There's no need to be down. I said, young man. Pull yourself off the ground. I said, young man. There's no need. To be unhappy. Bah, bah, bah. <sighs> oh, is he gonna like wander into the club and then are they gonna do the club scene <laughs> with like the bats on the strings? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I like how his text is turned up like he's a senior citizen who can't read. <laughs> what is this shot? You're gonna dolly up? Yeah, there we go. His baby butt. Why why was that shot? <laughs> okay, when are we gonna get to the inevitable the scene? The front door <laughs> he lives there. <laughs> what? <laughs> when are we gonna get to the inevitable scene where he's just like looks where where he's even dirtier and he looks like a homeless man and he just walks in and his brother's married to her? Like, that's where we're going. Smoking drugs. <laughs> Doing crack in the alley. I mean, look at him. Where, where else has he been? He's smoking cocaine. Always room for John Mulaney. What? Why? Where? What are you referring to? I'm a bad husband because I have PTSD. <laughs> that's, that's basically the movie! It's like, I'm a, I'm a bad husband because I have a debilitating mental illness that was induced by trauma in war. Like, go fuck yourself, movie! It has been, like, days. What What are you talking about? Oh, wait, what, 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 what? Hmm. This is infuriating. This is one of those movies where I'm just like, how do people who, like, enjoy everything just sit down and be like, yeah, good film, that's it. You're dead. Oh, please tell me we've already got there. Come on. happens. <laughs> Have you seen that, that clip that floated around Twitter like a, like a week ago that was the boondocks making fun of Tyler Perry movies? I think so. <laughs> oh, I gotta find that eventually. It's, it's literally this. <laughs> It's just this. <laughs> He's like, well, <laughs> awkward eye scratch. What? Yeah, I'm settling.
And even in the midst of a meltdown, his direction is... Mm. Oh my god. This is a type of movie where, like, I'm shocked we haven't seen the boom mic yet. I... I think you're underselling how hard it might be. Damn it, I hate when I find out that I'm doing heroin. <laughs> Heaven knows what could never that I've been cuckolded by me. <laughs> I've been cuckolded by the biblical Isaac. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that is, I, I, I love Silent Hill. This, this is like one of the Silent Hill sequels, like one of the bad ones. Like, is it Downpour? Is that the bad one? Downpour is the less bad one. Okay. Uh, Silent Hill Homecoming, Homecoming is so much better than this. That's true. That's very true. Most films are better than this. God, I hate when movies do this reveal, though, is that when it's just like, oh, you bet each other this. <laughs> Better fall face first into that glass. <laughs> Smush. Just jigsawing. Oh, God, please. Oh, you're supposed to be in your pajamas. Will you put your boobs away? It's just egregious. Yeah. Put thine titties away. Really, I'm really praying for a yeet the baby moment. This scene has been going on <laughs> for so long. It's like the conversation at the end of Eyes Wide Shut times a thousand. <laughs> that was the sound she, she would blow. <laughs> A for effort, man. <laughs> he just smiled. He's, He's just like, this is a good time. He'll be okay, man. Yo, what? 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 When? Where did? Wh how did he get here? Did he run? Just yes. the whole time? Drunk in the motherfucking train again. Oh my god! He's the oh no! Train to Mount Tark. But in purple light comes on. Get back in, Jessica. <laughs> this is Goblin Lady. Uh, fucking Harry Potter as monster. Get out of here. This is not a very good film. <laughs> I, I, you know, Morgan, I don't think that it is. This is Singer. Which one? Your brothers and you're in the same division for some reason. and put on my sunglasses so I can kill this man. I love 13 Hours, the Michael Bay film. Starring Jan Krasinski. I like when small children are just there on the ground going... I wish Frank Krasinski had just changed his last name to John Blunt. Then he'd be like the president of Blunts. <laughs> John Blunt. John Fire. <laughs> I want to name my 
my son, John Fire Emblem. The Valkyrie Aurora, this one's for you. <laughs> Rudiger? Oh, he did. Can you feel it? He can't. Nope. <laughs> Cause he did. Real talk, you know who needs to get in on this, like, sudden actor turned horror movie uh, director, like, person of color thing? David Diggs. Yeah. He'd direct the shit out of a movie. He'd make it awesome. Oh, this is Crackhead Girlfriend. Oh, that explains Ah! Uh, back here again. But I'm also, like, 90% sure she was with... What's his face from the... Place where he worked earlier. The place beyond the pines. Go fuck yourself. This is after hours. <laughs> Who the fuck are you talking to? You know Julia Fox, but you'll do. <laughs> that was the fucking line I'd die. This was filmed in like 2015, so probably. Probably not. It was in 2015, Julia Fox was still hot. Well, that wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't my point. <laughs> Also, I don't care how haggard and dirty you make this man look, he does not look like a heroin addict. He looks like a healthy, normal man. And she looks just like your average grunge girl. Like yeah, she a, also doesn't look like a heroin addict. No, not at all. I'm a sucky old <laughs> This really does make me appreciate people like the Safties for... For, for going all out when they do shit like this. Being talented. And being good. Oh my god, this fucking music is killing me. Oh, we're gonna do some slow motion. Now we're gonna have sex. Oh, that was already finished. Wow, that was quick. Damn, Damn. man. I understand. <laughs> Stroke game is not, not up to snuff. Oh, wait, no, he's gonna <laughs> fuck her with jeans on? You're not even gonna get damn pants. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Max god. Payne now. <laughs> oh my god. This actually looks worse, though. Yeah. It looks worse than Max Payne. That's a cast episode. Oh, yep. Yep. It's just gonna be us for two hours going, more talented than Scorsese. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is just... Regis. What in the hell? <laughs> this is old face. He's like, oh man. Dude. That, he said, what? that the, the subtitles spelled hey, H, H A Y. In one of those. And to God. No, I believe you. <laughs> She's just in the corner, like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, there's no Nicholas Lipstein up there. Where'd you find it? <laughs> you are. so awesome. Bro, you gotta try this. It came like five times. <laughs> and she's just in the corner like, I didn't want to, but thanks. The toxic masculinity. What a serve. He 
keeps doing that, like having a shot of just his reflection. It's just like every time, I'm like, it's not, it's still not clever. It's still not clever. Stop it. Again, have you just been chasing him this whole time? More running. I'll get it, because it's the tattoo. <laughs> It's stairs, like, like they're similar to ladders, because you go up. <laughs> this is it's the titular role. You see that Reese Witherspoon retweeted the uh, Elsie Awards? <laughs> Blonde queens supporting each other. Adam Scott. Get some drugs. Get you some drugs. Yes. No. I'm not trying to kill him. Look at him. What? Really? Truly making the story more relevant and updating it for the for, for modern era. I love exposition. I think he's gonna break your head. Moonshine. <laughs> Would it be funny? She's like, hey, don't do that. He just mixes two chemicals like. <laughs> I like how he said our, like he's trying to voice the concern of America like, by turning our vets. An eagle flies onto his shoulder. He also said that like he isn't one. <laughs> it's like you were, you were both in the army. Bodies of lotion. A mythic text. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Logan Kenny. <laughs> Uh, we should attribute that more to Spencer. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Spence. He's just... just has a revolver. Okay. That... What? Oh, so you were like his... dealer... Okay, if, if the twist had, like, led up to this and hinted at it, that would have been cool, but it just farted around with the stupid fucking brother plot. What, really? This is the worst shot I've ever fucking seen in my life. Take him down the whole way. Wow, you're getting a lot of coverage. You know, if you landed on top of that guy, you might make it. We did shoot him in the stomach. That's true. Learning to fool a jelly. Jam. Strawberry jam. I was quoting you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> in our it commentary, when there's blood, you just there's this moment where you go. Jam! Strawberry! Jam! <laughs> oh, I get it, it's like the original... No, it makes sense. <laughs> this fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, there's a tear. Is it dead now? Wow! Wow! Ah, back to Terrence Malick land. The only part of the movie that looks color corrected in an appealing way. I bet like, he's dressed in white now. His symbolism. Oh my god, what is this going on? He didn't redeem himself at all, though. Morally speaking. Is that it? Is that it? Jesus Christ. 
Well, this has been a gas. <laughs> wow. You know, for as long as that felt, now that it's over, I feel like that was 20 minutes long. <laughs> That's like, a, this this impacted my life. Zero. <laughs> that's nice for you. <laughs> Still I, feel like I was trapped in purgatory. <laughs> Is that Killer Mike? Oh, no. oh my god! Please let LP come in. Actually, I think this is for, I think this is a Killer Mike solo song that was like made during the Iraq War. <laughs> nope, that's LP. Never mind. Ending your horror film with "Run the Jewels." Game over, man.